Alright, so now the task is to make one expression here. Okay, expression of arithmetic using arithmetic functions. So for expression, I can take a note here. Okay, this is something where you can write anything. A note. I'm going to write expression here in this note, which says I want to I want to calculate, let's say, a plus b uh, multiple of c minus d. Okay, double bracket divided by a multiple of b. Okay. I hope that makes sense. We have to make this expression. a plus b multiple of c minus d divided by a multiple of b. Okay. So let's put it here so that you can see that. So we have four inputs a, b, c and d. So we need to take four numerical values. One, two, three and four. Okay. So let's name it this is A, this is my B, that's C, that's D. So the first equation says, first we have, we have to go, we have to go step by step. First step is A plus B. So we need addition function, two inputs addition functions. So I'll go for add A plus B. This is A plus B. Now this should be multiplied by C minus D. Okay. Result of this one is A plus B. So let's take C here, D here. We need we need to subtract C and D. I'll go for C minus D. Okay. So this is C minus D. I think I should better place it here only. <coughs> now this result and this result should be multiply. Okay. So we'll take a multiply function here. Output of this will go to the input of multiply. Now this will result to you A plus B multiple of C minus D. This result should be divided by a dot b okay so let's first multiply a and b this is a multiply this is a and this is b I hope I can place it here yeah pretty much clear now this is multiple okay this must be divided by result of this one so we'll take a divide functions so I'm just taking an example where you can see all the functions working together so it says result of this one divided by a dot b so this will come here this will come here and you will have the output in the output so I don't know what is the output so we can take a float okay now this value should not be d dot e this is exactly equivalent to I can copy this one to place it here Now let's take values of A, B, C, D. So let's take A as 10 and B as 20. Okay, exactly 20. Let's take it. Okay, I got it. Now C as 30. Mm -hmm. It's 30 here. Okay, 32 is fine. And B as 5 or 6. So when you calculate this one, this whole equation, if you put the values in there, you'll get this final results. So now whatever the values you have in A, B, C, D, just put the values and you get the results. That's the beauty of your own logic which you have made here. Okay. Now if you want to see results at every end, I can show you that as well. So I know A and B would be would not be in float, so I can take int here. Let me give this an address. Zero is fine. For this one, one. And the output can be given here. So this is your A dot B, sorry not dot yeah this is dot this is a dot B <coughs> okay now if you want to see more you can go to here you can give this address of 2 and this is showing a plus B so I'm, I'm just breaking down the results for you then you have subtract here it can be a minus B obviously address should be 3 a minus B and if you want this result of this multiplication again I can take an int connect it here 4 which is A multiple of B and that's the final value which is A plus B this is your A plus B here going here divided by C minus D this is divided by this is C minus D result is coming here oh you cannot see the D okay that's fine 
then it's divided by a dot b this is a dot b answer is here this is divided by a dot b so you have the floating results here so that's a small you can say that your own formula for your own expression you can also manipulate that and you can make your own expressions here i hope it's really interesting for you to start learning programming addition subtraction this is called functional block diagram this is a functional blocks this is a diagram and how you can make your own logic okay and if you find any difficulties you can post a comment in this video i'll get back to you thank you